Hi, I'm Bill from CJ Pony Parts. So far, as far as suspension mods go, I've added Steeda's Sport Springs and their anti roll bar front rear sway bar kit to my 2015 Mustang GT. I gotta admit, I'm really happy with the ride. The ride height for the Sport Springs is perfect, and ride quality didn't suffer at all. The car overall feels a lot tighter. So speaking with Steed about what the next step was, since I can't put their strut brace on because of my supercharger, I wanted to still tighten up the front suspension. They recommended their Extreme G-Track brace. So today we're going to install one on my 2015 Mustang GT. The Extreme G-Track brace is made of chromoly steel and was made in the USA by Steed. The brace is going to basically tie in your lower subframe, and strengthen it by putting a crossbar, and then tie in four mounting points, which are going to stiffen up the control arms and the entire subframe of the car, make the front end much tighter. Basically, you're tying in the bottom instead of tying in the top like you will with a strut brace. Now, if you do have room for a strut brace, I do suggest adding it because that's going to tie the entire front end together. But in my case, I can't go with one, so we're going to go with the G-Track Extreme. For this installation, we need a lift or a jack in jack stands, half-inch ratchet, 22mm socket, 22mm wrench, T60 Torx or 12mm Allen key, torque wrench, and cutting pliers. The Extreme G-Track brace is going to brace what's probably the weakest part of your factory subframe. These two long arms here that come back to your floors. The way the brace works, it's going to mount here and here, give us a bar straight across to support these, and then it's going to come over and then go over here and bolt to the meatier part of the subframe underneath your edge. The brace is going to mount in the smaller hole here on the outside corner of your subframe going towards the floor. They include these spacers. The spacer is going to go in the larger hole here, Basically use this and sort of fish it back into place. And then do the same on the other side. Now will put the brace up into place. Bolt through and put the nut on top. Do the same on the other side. The supplied front hardware is going to go through here, up into this opening here. It is actually threaded at the top, so make sure you have it lined up properly. This will thread in. We're going to go back through and tighten everything down. The front bolts are going to take a 12 millimeter Allen key, which is probably a socket or Allen key a lot of you aren't going to have in your home toolbox. If you don't, what you can do is grab a bolt head that'll fit up in there, torque a nut on the bottom, and that'll allow you to tighten it up. Torque spec for the rear bolts and front bolts is between 55 and 60 foot pounds. <clears throat> Once you're finished, you can either leave these here or you can cut them off. Steed has been selling the G-Track brace for years for other models. It's always done a great job and it also does the same thing on the 2015 Mustang. As you saw, the installation is pretty simple as well. It'll probably take you around half an hour. You'll be back on the road in no time.